Welcome to the Taos Machine Translation and Moses tutorial. In this demo I want to show you how to train a Moses MT system. This requires a fully cleaned and tokenized parallel corpus. For information how to obtain such a corpus, please refer back to the training data modules and demonstrations. As a first step in building our Moses MT system, we are building a language model. A language model models simply which phrases are most likely in the target language. We're using the IRS DLM language modeling toolkit and this toolkit requires a specific input format for the target language sentences. There is a script included in the Moses M2T toolkit that converts from the tokenized training data format into this special format for the language modeling toolkit. And we can have a look, quick look at this specific format. You can see it's basically simply the tokenized training data with begin and end of sentence markers. And now we can build the language model, specifying the input, we're specifying the order of the language model uh, to be three. We're having a pretty small corpus, so the maximum length of phrases we're modeling is, is of length three. And because we have a small corpus, the building of the language model is fairly quick. As a second step for building our Moses MT system, we are building the translation model using Moses. As a reminder, I just want to show you the training data we are using, the parallel corpus consisting of two files that are tokenized and lower cased. And then we can use the train model.perl script to train the translation model. This script requires a specifying uh, an external directory which contains certain scripts that this script is calling. It requires specifying the root directory of the built Moses MT system, in which case here it's a demo folder. It requires specifying the corpus, which I just showed you, and the specifying of the source and target languages. And then there are some additional parameters that specifying how the alignment is built and how reordering is handled. And lastly, it requires specification of the language model that we just built. Interestingly, this parameter here isn't used in the building of the translation model at all. It's just specified here so that it can be inserted in the resulting configuration file for further processing. So the building of the language models and the translation models is at this point completely independent. So now if we specified all these parameters, the translation model is built, which takes about five minutes with the available training corpus. After about five minutes, the training of the translation model is finished, and we can have a look at the results. A couple of folders were created containing the word alignment, and also a model directory with a phrase-based translation model containing the phrase table and the reordering table. Before we can use the two models to perform translations, we need to tune or optimize the two models together, basically setting weights between the two models. For this we use the mertmoses.pl script, and we are specifying a tuning set of uh, 100 parallel sentences. In a real-world system, you should use at least 1,000 parallel sentences for this. We also need to specify the Moses executable. And the Moses configuration file that was just created during the training of the translation model. And then we need to specify some administrative parameters 
the directory in which the tuning is performed and then some script directory which contains some dependent scripts once the tuning is started it will translate the sentences of the tuning set and compare them to the reference and in the course of the tuning determine the best weights between the two models based on these translations. After about 50 minutes for this specific demo system the tuning is finished and the weights were written to a new moses.ini file and we can actually try it out the, the train system now with a test sentence Ottawa est la capitale du Canada and we are piping this into the Moses decoder and as a configuration for the engine we're using the newly created Moses.ini file in the tuning folder uh, this will now load both models into memory both the language model and the translation model and once that is done we'll perform the translation and we can see uh, it translated sentence into Ottawa is the capital of Canada now you probably noticed that we trained the Moses MT system that translated lowercase sentences into other lowercase sentences and that's not what we want. We want to translate into correctly case sentences. So for this we're training a recaser model which is essentially a small Moses MT system. For this we are generating the correctly case training set with the held extract.pl script. Please refer back to the data cleaning and tokenization demo for more information on that script and we can make a directory for this recaser first we need to train a language model on the correctly case data so we need to bring the correctly case data into the required format for the language modeling toolkit with the add start end shell script and then we can build the language model with the build lm shell script specifying the input and also the order of the language model we have to be careful here to correctly specify the name of the language model for the subsequent training script as case.irstlm.gc Once the language model is built, we can use the train recaser.pearl script. It just requires specifying the recaser folder. The corpus used for training the recaser. And the training script used for Moses as mentioned this is just a small Moses model the recaser then we specify the first step as 3 because we already built the language model there's a small bug in this train recaser.pearl script that requires this then we specify the type of language model as IRSTLM. The building of this recaser is much quicker than building the full MT system. And we can try it out with a sentence that we just translated. So we input the lowercase sentence, Ottawa is the capital of Canada.
and then apply let's just send this to Moses with the recaser configuration file and this correctly uh, uppercases both uh, the province and the country name this is the end of training and Moses MT system demo for further presentations and demos in this tutorial, please go to the web address shown on this slide. Thanks for listening.